As we all know, 2024 is an election year. And the Wall Street Journal just posted an article that says black voters show signs of slipping away from Biden in 2024. Now, I don't know who wrote that article over at the Wall Street Journal, but they are clearly not in tune because the black voters are not only showing signs of not voting for President Biden in 2024, they have actively decided that they will never vote for Biden ever again. Now, this video is not to talk about the shortcomings of President Biden because we have all seen how he has done overly nothing to help the very people he thanked for getting him into office. We have seen how Congress has literally given reparations to everyone else except for black people, but they introduced a bill to study reparations for us, even though they didn't have to study it for everyone else. And they have literally used our tax dollars to help immigrants. This video is to highlight the absolute insane, and yes, I said insane, behavior of majority or at least way too many black people from 2019 to 2020 when it came to not only voting for President Biden, but to also looking to him and the presidency as our solution. And that can never, ever happen again. Black people literally ignored that from 1964, since the Civil Rights Act was passed, all the way up to 2020, nothing about our condition had changed, even though we had done 56 years of voting. They also ignored the fact that every president before Biden, even a black one, had done absolutely nothing to improve our overall condition. And to be honest, that is our responsibility, but we'll get to that. Black people in 2019 and 2020 literally decided to forgive a man who drafted the 1994 crime Bill that literally contributes to why so many black men are mass incarcerated today and help destroy our men and our families. I don't care what Trump did or said, nothing was ever worse than that. And Trump wasn't the solution either. Black people went around and literally told other black people they were not black if they did not vote for Biden. Imagine that. The most insane part of it all was they literally had a campaign that said vote or die. All for absolutely nothing. All to be in a worse condition now than in 2020. Black people literally ignored the only black leader we have, which is Minister Farrakhan, who told us that our solution is not in the White House. Our solution is in us coming together, uniting, and collectively doing something for ourselves. It is irresponsible, unproductive, and regressive to continue with this vote or die rhetoric instead of us getting in our community and actively changing things on our own. Our youth, our black youth, are literally dying from suicide, drug overdose, and gun violence, and you are at the voting polls. And black youth do not want to be involved in politics. Who can blame them? It's done nothing for us. They are not scared of our voting power. They are scared of our unity.